Okay, so let's solve this problem. So an arithmetic sequence a sub 1, a sub 2, to a sub 100 has a sum of 15,000. Then find the first term and the common difference if the sum of the terms in the sequence a sub 3, a sub 6, a sub 9, to a sub 99 is 5,016. So first, from this sequence, a sub 1 to a sub 100, so there are 100 terms, that's n. Then using this formula to find the sum of the sequence, so from the sequence, the sum is 15,000, so s sub n, that's 15,000, then equals n. That's 100 over 2, then times 2 times a sub 1, then plus, and that's the number of terms. So 100 minus 1 times the common difference, then simplify. So we have 15,000 equals this 100 divided by 2, that's 50, then times. So a sub 1 then plus this 100 minus 1, that's 99D. Then divide both sides by 50. So divide by 50, cancel. So this 15,000 divide by 50. So we have 15,000 divide by 50, that's 300. So we have 300 then equals 2 times a sub 1 plus 99D. So this one is the first equation. Then for this sequence to find the number of terms, since a sub 3, a sub 6, a sub 9 to a sub 99, since we have an interval every after the third term, so this 99 divided by 3, so the number of terms is 33. Then using this formula to find the sum of the sequence, since from the sequence the sum is 5016, so we have 5016 then equals n over 2, so n is 33, then divide by 2, times 2 times a sub 1, since we have a sub 3, so we need to find first the a sub 1. Since a sub 1 to a sub 2, that's equal to a sub 1, plus the common difference, and using a sub 1 to find a sub 3, that's a sub 1 plus 2 common difference. So therefore, for a sub 1 using a sub 3, we're going to use this equation that a sub 1 plus 2 times the common difference. So this a sub 1 becomes a sub 1 plus 2 times the common difference. Then plus n is 33 minus 1 times the common difference. So the distance from a sub 3 to a sub 6. Then since from a sub 3 to a sub 4, we have one common difference. And a sub 3 to a sub 5, we have two common difference. Then from a sub 3 to a sub 6, that's 3 common difference. So therefore, from a sub 3 to a sub 6, that's 3 common difference. So this common difference is equal to 3 times D. Then to simplify, so we have 5016 equals 33 over 2, then times, so distribute, that's 2 times a sub 1, 
Then to this one, so 2 times 2, that's 4. So plus 4 times the common difference. Then plus 33 minus 1, that's 32. Times 3 times the common difference. Then we have 5016 equals 33 over 2. Then times... 2 times a sub 1 plus 4 times the common difference, then plus this 32 times 3, that's 96 times the common difference, then combine these two terms, so 5016 equals 33 over 2 times 2 times a sub 1, then plus this 4 plus 96, that's 100 times the common difference. Then to simplify this equation, so observe that we have this 2 and 100, so divisible by 2. So we can write this one as 5016 equals 33 over 2 times we need to put this two outside so this becomes a sub 1 because we put this two outside then plus this 100 divided by 2 so that becomes 50 times the common difference then we can cancel now this two so we have now 5016 then equals 33 then times a sub 1 plus 50 times the common difference then divide both sides by 33 so divide by 33 cancel and this 5016 divide by 33 so 5016 divide by 33 equals that's 152 so we have now 152 then equals a sub 1 plus 50 times the common difference. So this one is our equation number 2. Then combine these two equations. So equation number 1 and equation number 2. So this one is number 1 and this one is number 2. Then observe that from this equation number 2, we can solve for a sub 1. So transpose this 50 times d to the left side. So this becomes 152 then minus 50 times the common difference equals a sub 1. Then since a sub 1, is equal to 152 minus 50d and for this a sub 1 so substitute this equation to a sub 1 so therefore this equation number 1 becomes 300 then equals 2 times a sub 1 and a sub 1 is 152 minus 50d then plus 99d then to simplify so we have 300 equals so this 2 times 152 so 2 times 152 then equals that's 304 then to this term so minus 100 times the common difference, so 2 times 50, then plus 99d. Then to solve for d, so transpose this 304. So this becomes 300 minus 304, then equals this negative 100 plus 99. That's negative 1D or negative D. Then we have this 300 minus 304. That's negative 4. Then equals negative D. Then multiply this whole equation by negative 1 to make this D positive. 
So, therefore, the common difference is positive 4. Then, to solve for the first term, so using this equation, so we have 152 minus 50 times this common difference and that's equal to 4 equals a sub 1 so we have now 152 minus this 50 times 4 that's 200 equals a sub 1 so therefore a sub 1 is equal to so this 152 minus 200 that's negative 48 so the first term is negative 48 and the common difference is positive 4.